All right, guys, the purpose of this video is going to be a quick setup and demonstration of ArtNet to Twinkly being controlled for Max Lights. So I have sitting behind me Big Tree, which is made from two 250 string lumation strings. And uh, it's 3D mapped, although that doesn't really matter. But there's the first part, there's the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and give this a channel just to start at. Save it. Um, verify that we need 300 channels. Then we're going to go into X lights. But first, we're going to turn on receive. And when we turn on receive, I can come over here and hit discover. And let's see, there's our net twinkly. Now you're going to want to double check this address. There are things that can cause this to come through wrong, like if you have a subnet or whatever. Um, I don't need any of these other things. I'll just delete them. But that's more of a uh, verification that it's working. So now we have that in there. So let's go into layout. And, uh, oh, also, you're going to want to make sure in your settings that bytes per universe is set to 510 if you're using the auto detect like that. Uh, and you're on a more recent version of, of X lights. If you're on an older one, it was 512. They changed it recently because it was inconsistent, and I asked them to. But this version here sends it through with... 510 per channel. So after you do that, you're going to want to uncheck act auto size because if you do anything to any of your models, it resizes it and messes it up. So let's go in here to model and let's go ahead and import that model. Make sure I have that one selected. Big tree. Let's see, uh, model data. And the point of this isn't to demonstrate what I showed in the earlier video. It's to show you the foolproof way of setting your channels up. So let's see. Oh, right. I forgot to do something. I forgot to hit stop here. Let's do that again. <clears throat> I can't run both listeners at once or this one will actually show up on the other screen. Okay, if that says 1 to 510, then that's a problem, and you need to go over here and enable web server. Once it reboots, choose big tree again. Import again. Now you'll see the correct channel range, 1 to 300. This is made of 250 strings. So let's OK that. Now the scaling doesn't come through, but that's OK. We can fix that after it's over here. So let's OK that. Let me stretch it down so it looks right. And then let's go ahead and look at it in 3D mode. So let's go ahead and stretch that out. OK. Now we want to fix the channels. So in Twinkly, or net to Twinkly, I have that tree set to start channel of one. And in channel will be 300. And this is actually going to be fixed on the next release. It's not updating, right? But I, I've got a fix for it. I just haven't uploaded it. Okay, so we know we need 300 channels. Now let's set this to start channel of, well, let's set it to controller of you start channel. Now here's where it gets interesting. I could just say start channel of one, but that's not the best way to do it. Your controller name is Ardnet to Twinkly, 
or whatever you call it. But let's pretend it is Art Net the Twinkly. So you're going to, going, to, going to want to go in here and you're going to say explanation mark Art Net to Twinkly colon one. And that tells it to start at the first channel for that device. You cannot get your channels messed up if you do this. Uh, you can actually build this manually through this dialog here. Um, but, it, but if you know the syntax, it's easier to just type it. Okay, so now it's going to show start channel or not twinkly to one or not in 300. I believe we are good to go. So let's go into sequencer. I'm going to go ahead and hit new sequence, new animation, 20 quick start. So it puts my model on it. Now let's go ahead and just drag something over here. And the house display will be the right skew. The model preview will always be what it thinks it is. So let's turn live output on and then let's receive and see what happens. Okay, I am not showing an output right now. Oh, because I never chose stream to the string. Whoops. So let's select that. Now suddenly we are getting the live output correctly. So I have to go back in here to sequencer just to prove it. So there you have it. Uh, it's not very hard to, to set up at all. Remember, this is a group. So that's a uh, quick and dirty setup on getting Artnet to Twinkly to connect to your lights. So what do you do if you have a second device now? Well, it's the same thing. So we know that Big Tree ended at 300. So now when we set another device up, like say Ground Crack, I can set this at 301 and then save that. And now if I add that to my layout, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, technically, you don't have to import the models every time. That's a single straight line, so technically, I could just use a line model. I, let's see, how many nodes did it have? Uh, let's see. 150. So if I make a straight line of 150 nodes of string... 150 controller, you start channel, three hundred one. Now, when we go back to sequencer, we are going to want to add the new, in fact, We want to edit display elements because now I have another model. Add that. Now single line is on there. Close that. And let's give that something interesting. Like say that. So that's what our net to twinkly expects to receive for straight line. And there you have it. It's receiving it. So you just have to do that for your entire setup. And it's pretty simple to set up. I mean, you pull one model in at a time, you go into your layout, you set them up where you want them, and uh, then after you're done, you uh, either create your, your sequence from scratch, or you can just import one. And there's a lot of free ones available. So I hope this guy's quick and easy tutorial helps you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. My username on on Facebook is uh, Lord Orwell. Uh, so you do facebook.com slash Lord Orwell. Uh, there's a button on the Lights of Oberfeld website that goes to my homepage. Just to, let me just show you that real quick. Uh, lights. So if you ever want to know how to get a hold of me, you click this right here. 
and uh, there you go. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I hope this guy helps you set it up and have a great day.